What's up everybody, it's your boy Ashton, also known as DJ Guardian, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I back up my music using one click. For us Mac users, we're going to use two programs, Terminal and Automator, to make this one click action button. Now to do this, obviously you'll need uh, another hard drive to back up your music to, so get that ready, get that erased, and have a nice fresh drive for you to do this. Now what I recommend before you actually go try this for yourself is try it on a small folder and make sure you got the method down. All right, but step number one, you're gonna open up terminal. You can hit command space bar and type in terminal and it'll pop right up and then copy paste the command that I have linked in the description. I'll have it on screen as well so you guys can kind of see what uh, all the commands mean. After you copy paste the rsync command into terminal, you're gonna copy the path of where your music is into terminal. Now, if your path isn't shown on Finder, all you gotta do is make sure Finder's open and hit view, show path bar, and then you should be able to see the path bar for your music. So once again, you're gonna click and drag your path of where your music is into the terminal. Next, we're gonna click and drag the path of where we want our music to be or to go to into the terminal. Now, before you hit enter, keep in mind, the process does take a while. It all depends on the speed of your hard drives and how much music you have in your library. But once you're all ready, go ahead and hit enter and watch the process go. Now, once the process is complete, you could go ahead and make sure the music is in the right spot and where everything needs to be. Now, if you get an error message like I did, uh, make sure you pay attention to what files it say it got an error on, because sometimes it's just a hidden file like I did. It was the trashes file that couldn't get copied over. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. All I care about is the actual music that I want copied. So after a successful transfer, what you want to do is copy that rsync command that you did in terminal. Next, we're going to open up automator. Once again, you just hit command spacebar and type in automator and hit enter and it'll pop right up. We're going to create a new application. Once you click on new application, we're going to click and drag run shell script into the right panel. Then we're going to paste our rsync command from terminal into that run shell script box. From here, you could go ahead and hit the play button or hit the run button and make sure everything runs again smoothly. And once that is complete, you could go ahead and hit save as and put it wherever you want it. You could put it in your dock, you could put it on the desktop, put it wherever you want. I don't care. It's up to you at that point. After you save the application wherever you want it to be, I guess the last step is just to click it one more time, make sure it works, and then you're good to go. You would see a little gear on the top right hand corner to let you know that it is backing up and it'll disappear once it's complete. Now if you're like me and have all your music into one centralized location, as well as the Serato folders, all your crates will be backed up, all your cue points will be backed up and updated. So this method is awesome if you keep your music organized. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. I'll link down in the description uh, some articles of where I found this method as well as an article of all the rsync codes you could use because you could do a tons of different commands with this method. As usual, uh, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section down below. I'm no big geek terminal expert, but uh, I'll do my best to answer them all. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.